Hi everyone. So everyone thinks about other than replacement in today's world. Knee replacement is the common surgery, no, but I don't want surgery. Is there any other possibility? So whether the PRP is the injection, PRP injection is the common. People are thinking about it, how far it is safe, uh, whether it is going to cure my disease or not. So these are the common questions. PRP means platelet rich plasma therapy. Yes, that is there from years also and our stem cells therapy. These are the common terms are commonly used injections into the knee to prevent arthritis or to cure the arthritis. That's the common people listening about. So actually what will the PRP stop? PRP can be given to any patient in certain reasons. Yes, it can help or it, it won't harm. That's it. That is why it won't create any harm. Whether it is going to help to the body or not, that is a questionable. Research hasn't proved to that, that is a cure. So giving into the joint, okay, it might help, it may not help also to the patients. It is not 100%, it can't cure the disease, it can halt the process to certain extent. There is no, because arthritis is an old age disease. Means as the age increases, that will progress. PRP is like a, acts like a glue, like hyaluronic acid, joint injection, the gel injection into the joint, the common term people will hear, or a PRP or a stem cells. So it's a blood, we'll take it from your body, we'll filter it, we'll take the cells and inject into the, so that the growth potential in the cells might help in rejuvenating the cartilage. Yeah. Depend, the results also depends on which patient you got it. So in the initial stages of disease, the knee is not knee is aligned. There is no cross uh, bowing of the leg. Patient is walking, but the pain is the problem. That's the initial stage of arthritis that will work well. If the age progresses, arthritis is progressing, and legs are becoming bowed, then the effect of your PRP will come down. So it might work for a day, or it might work for six months. It depends upon patient to patient. It is never quantified or never materialized. You can rationalize that uh, I got a cure or you didn't get a cure. No, if you get it in two legs, a similar pain, it might work in one leg, it may not work in other leg with the same patient. So the results are variable. There is no harm in getting it, but it is not the cure. But it, you need to get it in a very safe manner, a septic manner. Otherwise, in the future, inevitably you need to go for replacement. By that time, if the joint is not protected well or a septic condition, there is a chance of remote chance of getting infection while getting an operation also. So the silent infection is a biggest danger if it is not properly given without a septic manner. So you need to maintain that septic. So whether it is cure, it is cure my disease. No, it never cures your disease. It is like it can be a placebo effect or it can be a lubricant like thing. Growth with that there is no research proved that it resonates the cartilage. It might help to some extent, either gel or stem cells or PRP. That is today's world. Research has to come. There are a lot of working on the growth factors and the PRP, but it's a long way to go. So simple explanation is once you can get it when your legs are straight, less pain is there in the initial stages. It, it will create wonders. If it is your legs are bowing, a cross shape, shape out is there, your walking has changed, there's no point of getting PRP. You can get it PRP, but the result won't be that equivocal when compared to other patients. Because the cross leg, whatever happened, it need to become straight. If it don't become straight, the lubricant or gel or injection is not going to do much favor because they can't make it straight. So that is the reality of the PRPs. So beware, make uh, aseptic conditions. There's no harm in getting PRP, but don't expect that will cure my disease. Thank you.